Good afternoon and welcome to the Henry Schein Dental Academy webinar series. My name is Achut and I'll be your moderator today. We are excited to welcome Dr. Usa Bunang as our speaker and she will discuss go-to strategies to integrate 3D printing into the general practice. Before we get started, we have a few reminders for you. At any point during the webinar, if you have questions, please type them into the Q&A section of your control panel and we will answer them live at the end. Henry Schein is not offering any CE credit for viewing or attending this presentation live or on demand. This webinar is sponsored by Sprint Ray. Dr. Brunag, welcome and thank you for being with us today. Hello everyone, it's a pleasure for me to be with you and thank you for joining us. And um, my name is Usa Bunag. I am a general dentist practicing in the suburb of um, Maryland, and I own two dental practices, and we're on, on the border of DC and Maryland. And today, I hope to be able to share with you my journey in 3D printing. I started doing 3D printing three years ago. I have been doing CEREC for 15 years, and I practice um, comprehensive dentistry from um, orthodontic to uh, implant placement and um, digital workflow has been my, um, my um, uh, something that I go to and I, oh, I'm very proud to be able to integrate that into my practice. Today, I hope to share with you, you know, um, my journey and um, the objectives will be learn how to integrate 3D printing into your daily workflow learn which hardware and software to use for various applications and learn how to utilize your team to make 3D printing a success and learn how to set up effective workflow for 3D printing and learn the best practice for maximizing the ROI for 3D printing. And um, just a disclaimer, I am a um, key opinion leader for Sprint Ray and occasionally Archform, a software author software company will sponsor my lecture. Um, what is 3D printing? And um, if, you know, those of you that are new, you know, 3D printing is just an additive manufacturing process that creates a physical object from digital design. The process works by laying down thin layers of material in the form of liquid or powder plastic, metal or cement, and then fusing the layers together. And this is just the process. This is an inexpensive um, 3D printer that usually used for hobby. And you can see the process is heating, heated the filament. The filament is heated and it's just laying down the um, the filament, the process. This one, we use it to make mask. And that's pretty much, you know, the process of 3D printing. Let's see. And um, there are, you know, these are different types of 3D printers. You have the fused deposit modeling, which we call FDM that you just saw. You have the serial lithography, that's a, you know, a big word, SLA, you know, laser, that you see in form labs. And you have the digital light process or DLP projector. This is um, with Sprint Ray. And you have the multi-jet fusion or MG, uh, MJF. I'm going to talk about Sprint Ray. Sprint Ray is the digital light processing DLP and um, it works similarly to the SLA, but it, you know, SLA uses the um, um, ultraviolet light, you know, um, with the um, DLP with Sprint Ray, it uses the digital projector screen to flash an image of a layer across the entire platform and curing all points, you know, simultaneously. You can see, you know, these are the, um, you know, the components for the, um, the printer. So you have the printed part, which is right here, number one, and you have the support right here, the supports, you know, um, and then this is your bill plate. 
and you have the light coming from the, um, below and you have the resin tank. And then there's the mirror to, you know, for the, um, the light reflection and, um, and this, you know, the resin tank, you know, the, um, it, um, it's for, you know, what happens is that this is the bill plate will just come down and then the light will shine and then the, the resin will stick onto the bill plate. And what can you print? If you go on to um, thinkgivers.com, there's so many things in there that you can print. You know, you can print something, you know, if you have an idea that you wanted to, you know, um, make a tool, you can just go ahead and print that. And then, you know, the, um, the FDM uh, printers that we have, we use it to print toys for our patients. And um, this is one of the largest um, printer there is. This is by the um, Habitat Humanity. They use this to print houses. And last year we were heavily involved in printing PPE to donate to hospitals and nursing homes and doctor's offices in the, um, in the, in the Maryland area. And also we help dentists, you know, get back, you know, our, um, our local dentists, you know, get back to work by making mass fitters for, um, for, their, um, for their team. And in my office, we made, you know, we use the FDM printer to make masks and face shields, you know, for, um, for the team. So let's talk about 3D printing in dentistry. What can you print with, um, with 3D printer? You know, so many things, you know, the, the technology has changed, you know, so much, you know, since I had started 3D printing, um, you know, three years ago. Um, you print models to make, um, uh, to make aligners. You print study models for ortho. You can print crowns and onlays and temporary crowns. You can also print you know, um, dyes for your um, lab work, lab cases. You can also print denture and hybrid denture. You can print study guides. I'm sorry, you can print um, surgical guides. You can print ortho um, brackets trays. You can print night guards here. And then also any wax up that you want to, you know, to create. So when we got the, um, when we got our, um, our 3D printer, we started out with form labs, but we, uh, since Sprintway came up with, you know, with the, um, with their um, Sprintway Pro 95, we switched to Sprint Ray because it's a lot faster, and you know. And now I have two um, Sprint Ray um, ninety five. And if you look at the, um, you know, look at what it can do. You know, there's so much. You know, as a GP, you know, um, I'm a very, you know, I do comprehensive, you know, dentistry. So there's so many different, you know, um, different applications that I can use my three D printers for, and um, you know. You know, also as a GP, you know that, you know, there are some issues that you're dealing with, like you're looking at DIY dentistry, you, you know, you go online, you see, you know, patients can send the impressions into the, and they can make night guards, you know, and return it for the patient for 250, 200 and um, uh, under $300. And, um, you know, I've seen some of my patients do that, that, you know, some of the younger patients, and then, you know, when they come in, the bite, you know, the occlusion is, you know, is off. And now you hear, you know, online, you know, ad for um, smile, you know, um, direct, you know, all the time. And, you know, another thing that you look at is that you look at the lab costs for um, clear aligners for Invisalign. It's, you know, $500 all the way to $1,800. And, um, you know, for the night guard is the, the lab fee is, you know, at least $100. And the turnaround time is um, even if you send the um, the digital um, impression, it's still going to take two weeks, you know, to get the um, the physical uh, ca the case back. And also for surgical guide, it's um, you know at least three hundred dollars. And um, delay of cases, sometimes things you know um, don't come back when we want it, you know, to come back. And all of this, then it. Um, it adds up and then you end up, you know, have, you know, it's reduced your profits and then it also creates a lot of stress. 
Um, the best, you know, for me, from my experience, you know, three years into doing it, and because I do, you know, uh, and then also with comprehensive um, uh, treatments that I provide for my patients, the best ROI that I found for 3D printing, you know, for a general dentist would be for night guards and for in-house aligners. So, you know, usually this is like an on day an all day, um, you know, hands on course. So, you know, I'm just going to talk about this, you know, just so that at least if you're interested in um, getting um, into 3D printing, you can get started. So, you know, this is the night guard that we use. And I'm so grateful that um, Sprint Ray came out with this material. It's called Night Guard Flex and it's, um, it works great. And this is, you know, if you go in for the, um, we don't have the time to go online, but this is something that you can check out the, um, the website, it's on YouTube, and it will talk about the, um, you know, the, the Night Guard Flex. And what I found with the Night Guard Flex is that, you know, it cost, um, it cost about, um, the uh, sprint rate charges you about $25 to do the design. And then they return the STL file for you within 24 hours, and then you can print this and it costs about $4 to print the, um, to print the night guard. And um, it fits, you know, so well, very little adjustment or zero adjustment. And with the night guard flex is, um, you can put it in hot water and it can, and you can mold it, you know, to if the patient end up with um, new restoration, you can make some adjustment and then add, you know, and it, it still would fit. And um, it has the strength and it's, you know, it's not, it, it's not, you know, re, you know, even though it said night guard flex is not flex, you know, it's, it's once it's, it's, um, it's hardened, it's not that flexible. And my patients love it. And I have been using this for, um, about four or five months now and haven't had one that break, you know, yet. And, um, you know, and it's just so easy. It's uh, easy for, you know, for my assistants to work on. And it's also easy for me when I, when I insert it, I'll show you, you know, our workflow of how we, you know, how we do this. And it reduces the time the, um, for the, uh, the procedure. I eat, um, you know, will take like, you know, will take me just maybe two minutes just to, you know, come in and take a look and say hi to the patient, check and make sure that the occlusion is good and, um, and let the patient go. So another thing, you know, I started out doing, um, I started out doing um, uh, 3D printing because I, you know, I wanted to, you know, to, to do my own, my, uh, the clear aligners because I just, I was just tired of spending money for, um, you know, $1,800 for a full case. And, um, you know, this is what we do. You know, we print the models for, you know, series of models, and then we make our own aligners. And the aligners here. And then this is the, um, you know, for the trays. And then we have the, um, you know, different sets of trays here. Usually when we, um, you know, when we do this, it takes, um, you know, I, I'll walk, you know, I'll go, I'll go over with you the process that we do. So what will you need to get started with 3D printing? So number one, you need a great dental assistant. I, um, you know, with 3D printing, I usually, um, you know, I'm not that involved, you know, a whole lot. I have, um, you know, my uh, main dental, my dental assistant is in charge of it. And um, there are things that I do, you know, um, during the process, but most of this, my dental assistant, you know, my dental assistant handles, you know, everything. And um, in, you know, with the, um, the, the blue here is just the, um, uh, the, the workflow that we, we do. And then when, what you see in orange um, are for the uh, clear aligners. So you need a great dental assistant with great organizational skills and then also some IT and lab knowledge. You need some space in your office to set up the printer. You need the printer, you need the washer, you need the curing oven, and you need the pressure former. I, um, I, um, once I started doing 3D printing, I got rid of my, um, my, my model trimmer. And I don't really you know, do a lot of um, you know, impressions. So I got rid of the... the the impression um, um, stuff. 
and I have, you know, my, my main office in, um, in Bethesda, you know, I only have like 900 square feet. So it's very small. So I end up um, uh, using my, um, uh, um, my office, you know, switch things around to set up the, you know, the, um, the office and it, um, it's actually working out pretty well. Some of the, you know, some of my colleagues, you know, that I see that are doing 3D printing, they have a bigger office and then they had everything set up, you know, very nicely. But for us, you know, it's working out fine. And you need a scanner. We have the Omnicam in my second office and I have the Prime Scan in my, um, in my um, Bethesda office. And um, you either need the laptop or the PC. We prefer to use laptop is just because we can, um, you know, we can uh, move it from different spaces and it just, it works so much better. And, and um, now with everything on the cloud, I don't, you know, I used to, you know, to take the laptop home to design, you know, my cases. Now I don't have to do that anymore because it can be uploaded into the, the dashboard. Um, and then I can, um, I can just work from home, you know, with the, um, from the cloud. And you need, you know, the 3D printer. We have um, Sprint Ray Pro 95. We got two of those and um, the washer and the curing oven. You know, the, you know, the um, Sprint Ray has the package that you can do, you buy the 3D printer, it comes with the washer and then the curing oven. The, you know, all of them work, you know, really well together. And if you want to do the clear aligners, you need to have the pressure former, which is, you know, we have the Drew format and also the Ergo form and the lab hand piece. And you need the starter kit for the patient, just like you, what you would do with the um, uh, clear aligners with um, Invisalign and then consent form and IPR kit, you know, for the um, clear aligners. Um, you can see here, this is for the dental assistants. You know, these are the roles and responsibilities, for, you know, for the dental assistants when they, um, when it's involved the night guard. We you know the scanning is done by the dental assistant and we don't pour impressions anymore. It used to be that when we had the Omnicam, it sometimes it's a little slow. So sometimes we just take the impressions. Now with the prime scan, we can do the impressions less than five minutes, do the scanning in less than five minutes and that works out really well. I can have a patient come in for, a, uh, for their um, uh, recall and they want to have a night guard or they want to work up for the, um, for the clear aligners. You know, my assistant can come in and do the scanning. My hygienist can also do that. And with the prime scan, that only would take us like maybe five minutes, you know, to do. And um, the assistant will handle all the file uploading and transfer to Sprint Ray. Uh, this is for the night guard. So they will upload the file and transfer the file to Sprint Ray on the dashboard and then order for the night guard and um, Sprint Ray will design it and, and then they can um, download the, um, uh, the STL file and to Rayware. I'll talk about, you know, about Rayware just a little bit and then to print. If you have the Sprint Ray 95, Pro 95, you can just print directly from the dashboard and the assistant will print it, will wash it, will cure it, and then will polish. And the assistant, when the patient comes back, will try in and check for seating and then the, um, the occlusion. And then they'll come in and get me to verify the occlusion and then do the post-op and dismiss the patient. And um, with, the, um, with this process, I can have the patient, the patient can have the night guard. I think if you, can, if you tell Sprint Ray that you want the design like back, you know, if the patient comes in in the morning, and you want, you know, and the patient has to leave and, you know, would like to get the night guard, you know, on the same day, you can have the design back and you can print and it will, um, you know, it will be done, you know, uh, it takes like about, uh, you know, less than an hour to print a night guard. And the, um, the cost for that is $25 for the, um, for the, um, uh, the design and then about $4 for the, um, the processing. And the dental assistant's roles and responsibilities for the clear aligners. This is our, you know, um, this is something that we do a lot. 
And, um, you know, it's something that we, you know, with the, you know, with the clear, I, I just think that this has been the best, you know, ROI for me. And then now with the night guard is just another added um, uh, investment for, um, for my 3D printing, you know, um, journey. And um, the dental assistants, you know, um, will do the scanning, just like the night guard, they will do the file uploading and transfer they, um, they will edit the models and then they will transfer the file to Archform, which is the software. I'll talk a little bit about it, the software to design the, um, the aligners. Um, and then the case will be ready for me to design and the assistant will export the file and set up the models in Rayware for printing. They will print, they will wash, they will cure, and they will do the tray fabrication and then do the case tracking insert and check seating, and then do the consent and post-op instruction. So you can see that, you know, I utilize my assistants, you know, quite a bit. And in my roles would be in the, uh, for the clear aligners would be to diagnose and treatment plan, to do IPR, to do the attachment placement, and then to check the process. So let's talk about the hardware. What do you need? So for the computer, we have the gaming laptop, you know, um, gaming laptop or PC. You want to have the three button mouse. The, um, these are the um, specifications. You need um, the laptop. You can also use Mac, uh, MacBook Pro. You need to have the Core i7 or compatible. You need the video card to have eight gigabyte or more. You need 16 gigabytes of RAM. 250 gigabyte SD and then the three button mouse. I took my class, you know, for 3D printing with um, Dr. August de Oliveira. And I just think that was the best, you know, investment, you know, for me to, you know, to start on this journey. And, um, and this is something, so the PC, so what I did was I bought, a, you know, I have the Dell, you know, um, gaming laptop and it works great. The scanners, you know, any scanners, you know, will work. You need to have the STL um, file to be able to um, to upload into the um, into the cloud or into the various um, you know softwares that you're going to use. Um, you know, you, you I have the Omnicam and I have the Prime Scan, and um, my assistant, you know, will do the you know the scanning. This one I sped up a little bit. And you can just see like with prime scan, it's just so much easier. When we, when we used to do the, um, the Omnicam, we kind of like need two people because you have to go back and cut the model. So with the prime scan, it will scan over the, you know, the, any foreign, um, you know, any interferences and it, you know, we just love it so much. And prime scan is like my workhorse and I use it for, um, you know, I do um, Sarah crowns, you know, for, um, for inlays, onlays, crown lays, and then implant um, restorations as well. So I'm just gonna speed up a little bit and you can just see that, um, you know, it's a touch screen, so it works really well. And it will just, um, you know, it will just correct, you know, the mistake. So that's the process with the, um, you know, with the prime scan. When you do the night guard, you scan the same way, but when you do the buckle bite, you just, um, you just have the patient bite on the, um, the two cotton rolls to where you want the bite to be. And it's, um, and then you upload, you upload that file to, um, to Sprint Ray. Let's see. Just bear with me one moment. Oh, I'm gonna go back. Just bear with me one moment. So I wanna go back to this one. Am I still there? I'm so sorry. 
Doctor, your video is visible, but not your presentation. Okay, so just um, bear with me one moment. Yes, ma'am. Um, uh, I am so sorry. <laughs> so let me just go back again to the, um, Doctor, I think you have to screen share again. Yeah, I, I got it. So th okay. thank you. I am so sorry. <laughs> okay. So um, from current slide. Okay. So let's talk about um, let's talk about the software. The um, the 3D printing software that we use is Rayware, and you use you know, and that's um, I'm just gonna see if I can go back again. So on one second. There. Okay. So the software. So there, there are various softwares, you know, for you to use. If you are doing the in-house design for the um, for the um, for the um, clear aligners, you know, you can you, you can use Archform, you can use Blue Sky Bio, or you can use ULab. And we use Archform because that's you know um, I just found that it, it you know it was pretty easy. And I think you know for us is that once we start using one you know one software. If um, you know it's it's better to just stick with one because otherwise you're going to have to train your assistant to you know um, to learn the new software again and it can get very confusing and um, Archform always you know upgrade their um, you know um, they always have a lot of updates and um, and we love it and we use you know and we have been using it for for three years. And um, you can use Blue Sky Bio also, and, and also ULab. And for outside, you know, source, if you don't want to do your own design, you know, Archform will also design your cases for you for, uh, for ortho. Sprintray will design your surgical guide, will design your, um, your night guards, you know, for you. And um, Sure Smiles will also, you know, um, design the case, and then you can either, you know, if you want to do your own 3D printing, they can send you the um, the um, the STL file that you can do the printing, and also, you know, you can also use Blue Sky Bio. The 3D printing software that we use is uh, is Rayware. Rayware comes with the um, the Sprint Ray Pro. It's very easy to use. And um, if you visit the, um, you know, the website here for, you know, because we don't have a lot of time, so I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna um, um, go onto this website, but you can also check this out. It will show you how you can um, set up the models, and it's, um, you know, it's pretty easy to use. And, um, you know, this is, you know, all this my assistant will, you know, will, um, will handle it. So, you know, you select the models to print and import to Rayware and you set up in Rayware. And, you know, and you can manipulate it and reset it. And then in here, you will see that it, it said fix. It will fix the models, you know, for you. And then it will add some base. You know, it has some, um, you know, features over here that you can, you know, um, cut the base or add, you know, add the base on here. And sometimes it will add support, you know, just so that it will print, you know, um, uh, this, is, this is your platform here. This is the model and this is the, um, the support. And when it's done, you just hit print and then it will print. And usually one model will take, you know, under an hour, you know, to print. And um, this is what we have, you know, we use Sprint Ray Pro 55 and 95, you know, the 55 and 95, just the, um, it just means that 55 has a small, um, smaller pin, you know, um, uh, um, uh, the plate is smaller. And also, you know, the 55, you can use it to print, you know, it's finer, so it, you can use it to print um, um, dentures also for, um, uh, study models if you want to use it for um, for dyes and also for crowns and and um, and bridges we have the um, you know because we do um, ortho we use the the 95 more than 55 so I have two um, sprint ray pro 95 it has a bigger bill plate and um, it comes with you know pro wash and dry 
and also with the, um, the curing oven. I really like the pro wash and dry because it's less messy and it's not as, um, you know, it's easy to use. It takes about 14 minutes to, to wash the, um, um, the models. You know, when the models come out from, the resin models come out from, uh, from the, um, um, the printer, it's not cure yet. So you have to, you know, to process it. And um, you know the, you wash out all the inhibited layers, and then you put it in the oven, you know, to cure. And um, we use, you know, you can use ninety one percent to ninety nine percent alcohol. You know, you can get, you know, the bulk, you know, bulk of it from uh, from Amazon. Last year, you know, because of alcohol shortage, we were having such a hard time finding the, you know, the um, the ninety one percent and the ninety nine percent, and um, we just kind of like reuse it, you know, and uh, and I had to to take the um, the bath and set it out and leave it in the sun so that it will um, the resin will deposit at the bottom and it will take it out and then we can filter and then use the alcohol again. And um, so the time for washing it's about fourteen minutes, and then the pure of um, the the pro cure. It's, um, it's about 20 minutes. It has different settings. So it's easy to use. You just put it, you know, your models in and you press the buttons and it's done. We also use, pre you know, pressure formers. We have the Urca form and we also use the Drew from that. And um, we don't recommend the, um, the vacuum form and you want to have the pressure formers. The, uh, we only use the vacuum form now for, Actually, I don't have the vacuum form, you know, in my um, in main office. So the assistant just used the um, the drew format or the ergo form, you know, to make the um, the retainers. So the lab set up again, you know, I um, my office, my main office is small, so we, you know, we utilize the space, you know, very. Um, you know, I had to say, like, I utilize every single square inch, you know, in my practice. It's a smaller office, but it's more expensive. I'm in a very, you know, uh, it's, it's in Bethesda area. So that's a high income area. So I, I just can't, I didn't want to move. So, um, so we have the two printers here. And this is the, um, you see here, this is the Pro Wash. And then this is the Pro Cure. And I use the triad sometimes so that I can, if I, I add, um, a, uh, you know, for curing, you know, if I'm adding some resin to, you know, to close the space. And, and then this is the, um, the Drew format. And, you, you know, and these are just uh, uh, cases that, I, that we have that we leave over here. And, um, you know, so that it's easy to archive. And, um, you know, these are different resin tanks and we use different resin tanks for different resins. It's better to, um, to have that set up and we just label everything. And we have, you know, we have a spare um, a tank as well so that we don't, you know, in case if something happens, you know, I, you, I think, you know, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think, you know, each tank will last you about six months to, um, to 10 months and then you have to change it. And um, these are different resins, you know, that we use. And uh, we didn't really um, set everything out in the, um, on the shelf. I just have an old um, cabinet that I use and I just, that I had that I just, you know, um, actually they were my, my old file cabinet since I don't have, you know, any files, you know, anymore. So I just, you know, make use of it. And it's, uh, it's uh, a great, you know, storage space. So we just have different resins to use. We have different resin for surgical guide. We used to use, uh, we used to have a clear surgical guide. We don't use, um, not, not surgical guide, but um, night guard. And um, now we use the night guard flex. And you don't see the night guard flex there because it's in the tank being, you know, we're, we're using it. And we use the, the surgical guide and we use the dye, you know, we have the gray or the tan color. And this is the, um, the Urca form. And then we also have the, um, we also over here, this is just the, um, the um, air extractor because it gets pretty dusty sometimes. So we just have to make sure that we, um, we have a way of um, um, getting the air, the, all the dust out from the, um, from, the, from the lab. 
And the, um, for the aligners, you know, we use 0.5 for the attachment template, 0.5 millimeters, you know, uh, trays for the attachment templ uh, template. And we started that at tray zero. And for the aligners, we, um, there's one, um, 0.75 or 0.8 for the aligners. And we used to get them from Glidewell. Now Archform will have it. And you can also get them through Essex. And um, I just get them from Art. I'm going to be getting them from Arch Form because then I can get some um, discount for other services. And we use 1.0 for um, for the retainers. Uh, packaging, you know, uh, we use small plastic bags for each sets of trays that you have seen, you know, um, um, before. And uh, we have the retainer case. We have the chewy. We have the hook. We have the retainer bright for the patients and the instruction, just like you have what just like you use for the um, for the um, for the clear aligners. And these are different kinds of scissors that we've used, and we've liked them a lot because it's you know it's very easy to use to trim the trays. You can also have the hot knife to use it, but um, you know I found you know this inexpensive Goldman Fox scissors. Um, on Amazon, and they are great to use for trimming the um, trimming the plastic trays. And this is a um, just a chart that you can request, you know, from Archform. You know, um, when you do the um, the design, it will um, tell you, you know, the IPR charting for this, uh, the IPR, you know, um, uh, teeth that will need the IPR. Um, I have just, you know, um, uh, I do, I place implants and I used to do everything freehanded. And um, now that, um, you know, in, in January, I, um, I got the Axios um, CBCT and I started using it to, um, you know, to do, to plan my, um, my surgery, my implant. And I have to say like the surgical guide makes things a whole, a whole lot easy for me. And, um, you know, so this is my planning for the, um, for the surgical guide. And, um, and with this case, I send the, um, you know, I, I did my own planning just because I wanted to learn how to do it. But I send the, um, for $100, you can send your, your scan, um, your, you know, the prime scan, the SEL file, and also send your CBCT scan to Sprint Ray and Sprint Ray will do the design for you and send back the STL file that you, uh, file that you can you know print with the 3D printer and with this case that I did you know this is my first case with the surgical guide and um, it took me a lot of time to prepare because I was learning you know the the process and uh, but it only took me 15 minutes to do the surgery and um, you know and it went very well. So now what I do is, um, you know, I do, this is something that I am adding to my, um, you know, to my practice. And um, also you use, you, you know, I use it for study models because I do my own Sarah cases and it makes, you know, it helps me a lot to be able to just print, um, you know, print out the study models and then I can just try my restorations, you know, for the patients and it's pretty accurate. And, um, you know, so I utilize the, um, my 3D printer, you know, quite a bit. So we do, you know, the assistant will do the lab tracking. So they have a sheet that they do. I don't want to, you know, to leave this because then I, well, you know, then I can show you the, the, um, the lab tracking. If you are interested in it, I can, you know, I can just, um, you know, email it to me, you can email me and then I'll email you the, you know, some of the forms that we use. And, you know, and this one, you know, uh, for the lab tracking, because we have two offices. So it's just, you know, e you know, we have to just keep things, you know, um, we just have to keep things, you know, things a little bit more organized. And I'm grateful for my, you know, for my assistants to be able to help me, you know, um, you um, make this, you know, a success. So this is Tanya, she's our, um, our lead um, dental assistant for the 3D printing. And she's, um, uh, she's going to dental school, you know, hopefully by um, next fall, she will start um, dental school. And she does all of the, um, the, 
the uploading, the file um, uh, management and the printing. And then she also does all of the, the, um, the, the trays and the night guard um, trimming. And I used to have a high school um, uh, student come on, come over after school to help me with this too. And then actually that was like the best thing because they're really smart. And I, I reach out to the computer um, um, uh, department and they, you know, and I would have the, um, the, the high school students, you know, coming in to, you know, to help me. And um, both of them are now, you know, one, um, one is in college. The other one just left about, you know, a month ago because he got an internship with the, um, with a physics lab. So, um, you know, I'm very grateful, you know, for the, um, the opportunity to work with them. And they, you know, they taught me quite a bit. And this is my team, you know, part of, you know, and I have Tanya here. She's the, the lead, um, you know, um, lead um, 3D printing assistant. And Jorge, he's helping with the, um, the trays, you know, uh, fabrication. And then do she started, actually, when I went to learn 3D printing in, uh, in Boston with, uh, with um, August, um, do came with me. And she's actually was the one who was taking all the notes and doing all the, you know, she, you know, everything. And then when we came back, she was the one who helped me get things started. And um, so I'm very grateful for, you know, for my assistant. And um, again, to recap, you know, to get started with 3D printing, you need to, you know, you need to learn, you know, everything. I learn everything so that I can train, you know, my assistants. But once they learn everything, then they just take over. And right now they'll just send me, um, you know, a, a put a sticky note or send me um, a message that said, please design this and, and that's it. And then all the cases, they look on the schedule. I know that cases will be ready and they, you know, they will take care of it. So you need a great dental assistant and you need to have space, some space in your office. And if you don't have it, you know, you can, you know, utilize, you know, you can, you know, look at what you can get rid of. I got rid of my, um, you know, I had a bigger office and um, now what I did was I just have a little cubby hole for my, uh, for my um, um, business office that I use. And, you know, most of the time I'm very busy seeing patients anyway, so I don't sit in there quite, you know, um, a whole lot and you need the scanner. And again, we like the prime scan and the laptop Dell will have a great deal for you. It's coming up towards the end of the year. If you're looking to have a, um, you know, a good laptop, you know, invest in it because it works really well. And, um, you know, you can find out and to just see what, you know, some of the, the, um, the, the deals that you have, make sure you have a good, um, good graphic card. And the 3D printer, you know, I think, you know, Sprint Ray right now has some, um, you know, some, a package and it's, it's, a, it's, it's a big investment. It, it's a good investment because when you're looking at everything that you spend now, it's like 30,000, 50,000. I think for a package of about 10,000, you have everything that you need to get you started. You can make, you can do your night guard and you can make your night guard. That's really, you know, if you're not doing ortho, night guard is going to be your, you know, your best, you know, um, investment for, um, you know, best return of the investment. And, you know, the lab hand pieces you already have, and these are the same, the things that you, you know, that you have for your um, Invisalign. And I am happy to say that um, because I, you know, because of 3D printing, I don't have to spend a lot of money to, you know, I don't have, you know, when every time when you, you know, it's great, you charge the patient $5,500 for the, the clear aligners, but then almost $2,000 will go out to the, you know, for Invisalign or clear correct. And for me, for each case, it's the average is about $300 for the lab fee, everything, $300. And, um, you know, so I, you know, I'm just so glad that I did that because that allows me to just, you know, put more money in, in my pocket. And, you know, I think 3D printing is here to stay and it's, you know, the future is now. And, um, you know, so I think everywhere, you know, when I started out in CEREC, that was 15 years ago, we were like just the 1% of the dentists, you know, in the world doing CEREC. Now, 
more and more and more and more people, you know, um, uh, dentists are doing Cerex. So 3D printing is for you to, you know, to just get involved and it's, you know, it's easy for you to, you know, to get started. And if you have any, you know, any questions or any concerns that, you know, and if you need any help, I'm going to leave you my email address at the end. And, you know, please feel free to, um, you know, to give me, you know, um, to just email me, I'm, you know, I'm happy to help. And, um, you know, I do hands-on courses and it takes, you know, that usually takes about, you know, about six hours to do, to teach you how to do the, um, the ortho part, how to use arch form. So, um, you know, so that's something, if you're interested, you can email, you know, me as well. So that's, um, you know, that's the end and, you know, it's a lot to cover. So I hope that this is enough for you to, um, you know, to, to think about, you know, starting your journey in 3D printing and, um, you know, and thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bernard. Uh, we currently have one question and it is, how big of a role do you foresee 3D printers having in dentistry in general? I just think that it's just something that it, it's, um, it's, it's, it's here to stay. And, you know, if you look at a lot of the, um, you know, the, a lot of the, um, the digital um, dentists, you know, out there, you know, uh, it's 3D printing, you can do your, um, uh, you know, it's part of it. If you look at implant pathway in um, Arizona, Sprint Ray is part of the, you know, creating the hybrid denture. But for, for a GP, I could not, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm a dental assistant. I was a dental assistant before I became a dentist. And what I hated the most as a dental assistant, or I can even see my dental assistant, not, you know, in the past, not wanting to do, is having to pour models. And sometimes at the end of the day, you don't have time to pour the model. And you got to, you know, and you have to, you want to go home. And, you know, and you got to wait for the models to, um to set up before you can separate them. I'm gonna tell you when we stopped doing, um, you know, pouring models and we just go with 3D printing, it was the best thing, you know, for us. And it's less, you know, you don't, and then you don't have to worry about the, you know, the, um, the trap, the plaster trap and the, um, you know, it just, it's here to stay. And um, I've been doing it for three years and it's, you know, it has changed my life. It's, you know, it's lessened my stress. I can just get, you know, the night guard. I used to, you know, regardless of where I sent my cases, I can send to Glidewell and um, cases will, um, will come back and I have to do so much adjustment with the occlusion. And, um, and then I, you know, and I pay it a lot, you know, so for Glidewell, it's like, what, $100, you know, at least. And it takes like about three weeks, you know, to get it back. Now I can insert my night guard less, you know, the next day sometimes the same day. And I have to do, you know, zero, you know, most of the time, you know, 95% of the time is zero adjustment. And it's, you know, it works great. The stress, you know, for me, everything that I do in my life, I'm a caretaker for my husband who had a stroke. So, you know, and everything that I do in my life, it has to be like stress-free. And I want the same for my staff as well. And they, you know, and they love it. You know, not having to pour the model. So it's here to stay. And this is the, this is the time for you to get started. And, um, you know, and it's, you know, I, 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 I don't regret what I did. And I love what I'm doing. And buying, you know, buying me time and, and lessen my stress. That's my key. Thank you, doctor. Uh, we'll give the attendees about 30 more seconds to ask any final questions. And then we'll uh, begin our wrap up. Thank you, doctor. Yes, and I'm going to put, put in my email address, you know, if you have any questions, you know, please feel free to reach out to me. And, um, you know, and it's a lot of, um, you know, it's a lot of new information. And, and, you know, and from, you know, personally, I'm, you know, I'm 59 years old, if a 59 year old woman can do this, you guys are probably a lot younger than me, I think you can, you know, this will be, you know, this will be the best thing for you, you know, for you. But thank, thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, thank you, Dr. Bernard, for the great presentation. And thanks to Sprint Ray for sponsoring this webinar. If anyone has questions about Sprint Ray's 3D printers and or adding them to your practice, please reach out to us at webinars at henryshine.com and we'll be happy to connect you with a sales rep in your area. As a thank you for attending, 
everyone will receive the recording of this webinar via email in the next week. Thank you all for joining us this evening, and we look forward to seeing you in our future webinars. Thank you once again, Dr. Bruna. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank you.